Hello Cancer, this is your pick a deck reading to see how the person that you are thinking about feels about you, the situation. And um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. This would be deck one, deck two, and deck three. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move these out the way. You guys pick a deck, two decks, three decks, however you want to do it. Um, just as long as you can get, you know, a message out of it that resonates with you, okay? So if it does not fit, do not try to make it, guys, all right? So let's see. Let's go ahead and ask the question. How does Cancer's person, that was ugly. How does Cancer's person feel about them? How does Cancer's person feel about them? Cancer's person, how do they feel about them? Hmm, if you guys have done something um, that you're not proud of, I feel like they forgive you here with the strength card. Um, this is doing something that's basically hard for you to do. You know, it's like you're going against the grain. You know, it, it may be a struggle, but you're pushing through it, okay? So, <clears throat> for, those, for those of you who this applies to, um, they do forgive you. Let's see. They think about it a lot. Um, if they've done something, they're struggling um, with that. They are, I mean, I feel like this person thinks about whatever this situation is, um, day and night. I think they overthink a lot. I think they are working themselves up into a tizzy, okay? Gemini energy there. Um, a lot of them are trying not to, you know, they're, they're so in their heads. And really, I think they're in denial is, is what I'm feeling here, that um, they, they struggle to also see what it is that they have done for some of you, okay? They're struggling with that. Um, they're making excuses for themselves here. So if they feel like they've done nothing wrong, then of course, the Nine of Swords says, um, that's not true, <laughs> you know? So... I think they're trying to come to grips with how they how they feel. What really happened in the situation. Yeah. Yeah. And I think they're struggling because whoever this is, I feel like um, they walked away initially. But I think now you guys are taking your energy away and so now they're left to sit in their own crap basically okay let's see hmm we have a magician and the ace of swords strong gemini energy here They, they really want to be victorious in this situation because the thing, this is the thing with this person. I feel like they walked away and they're really trying to make excuses for why they walked away. And they want to feel like they did the right thing. But the Nine of Swords is telling me that they really don't feel like they did the right thing here. Okay. And I think that's where this Nine of Swords energy is coming from because they are really kind of fighting with themselves over whether or not they did the right thing. Okay. Um, I think there is some truth that they are realizing about um, because they really felt when they walked away that, um, you know, there was nothing left for them there, that it was best for them to walk away. But I think there's something that has has triggered them, and now they're feeling um, they're struggling with seeing the truth and feeling betrayed. When I feel like they betrayed themselves here, is what I'm getting. I feel like they betrayed themselves. Okay, strong Gemini energy here, Pisces energy. Yeah, and they they are really just trying to. Um, focus on work to try to you know kill some of those thoughts but it's not working 
because this person even thinks about this while they're at work. So, you know, it's like they're barely functioning. And other people probably don't even see this, but they have this inner struggle, I feel. They feel like the more money they make, the happier they will be, but that's not true. That is so not true. They also feel like you are victorious um, now, like you are the one that really won. Because I feel like this person was is a person that, um, you know, they like to win at all costs here. And really, and you know, of course, when you, when you do things strictly in that moment that make you feel good, you know, a lot of times you kind of rethink that decision and, and go, wait a minute, um, was that the right thing to do? So who really wins, you know? So Virgo energy here as well, okay, guys? So that is deck one. Let's move on to deck two here. If you chose deck two, let's see. How do they feel about my cancers? How do they feel? How do they feel? How do they feel about cancer? Oh, okay. Huh. They feel like you're doing your own thing. Um, they see you as being like successful and not really offering them emotion anymore. Like you're on your own path. Whatever that means. Okay. Yeah. That you've blocked them out. That you're not having their shit anymore. Okay. Leo energy, Gemini energy here. They're standing their ground. They have their beliefs. Um, yeah. <laughs> They're struggling. They're struggling to stay away from you guys. You guys may have blocked them as well. And I feel like, you know, initially you guys probably blocked each other. But somebody shook here. <laughs> somebody shook. Because they cannot, they cannot penetrate the wall that you guys have put up, okay? They feel like they can't get through. They feel like you're not having it. Hmm. <laughs> they feel like you guys will read them from head to toe, okay? I feel like this person is looking at you as well. I feel like they they try to observe you, but they can't get through. You probably block them on your social media pages. And um, yeah, they're hurt. They're hurt to their core, okay? Because I get the impression that they felt like you guys would never get to this point is what I'm hearing. You would never be in this space where you're not communicating, you're not talking, um, that you're not offering emotion to them anymore, to the situation. Some of them have gone through a breakup since you, that they're healing over and they want to contact you. And um, no, because I feel like you guys are thinking, you know, I have read that chapter already. Um, it's not something that I want to read again. Okay. Then we have the world. Yeah, you guys have wrapped up a cycle with this person. And um, I feel like you guys are moving on. You're like, you know, that was then. Um, I've been through some shit. And I'm moving on. Entering into a new cycle. This person also wants to bring something back with you here with this world. They want to bring something back with you. They feel like... They, I'm getting strong. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. That's a message for somebody here. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy, Scorpio, Leo, um, maybe Taurus here, okay? On to deck three. For my Cancers. What's going on with Cancers person? How do they feel? How do they feel? 
cancer's person. How do they feel? All right. Hmm. They want to start over. This is the Ace of Wands. They're attracted to you. They feel like you guys had this whirlwind romance. Okay. Definitely want to start over here. Feeling like their their world is not lit unless you're in it is what I'm getting. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. They want to get back together. Um, this go around, I'm hearing that they want to um, they'll be better this time. They want to work, they want to work with you. Um, they will not be selfish. They will compromise. Hmm. This card came in the reverse and I just looked at my deck to make sure that my cards in the upright, but, um, this is a fool in reverse. So I'm feeling like this person feels foolish. Okay. They feel foolish about whatever happened with you. They feel like they made a mistake. Okay. And they're scared to approach you. They're scared. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. It would, it would make them so happy. If you guys could start over again with the sun, there's something they've realized about um, you guys, this connection, that they feel like um, would, would really, really make them happy, that they didn't realize before, that they didn't see before, like they had blinders on, okay? Very attracted to you. I feel like you are this person's light, like seriously, guys. Whew. Okay, it's kind of sad. And then we have a three of swords in reverse. Again, another reverse card. Good card though, okay? So this is um, you know, them getting over, feeling like um, getting over the disappointment, getting over the things that they feel like um, you have done to hurt them. If there was a three-party situation here, that is no longer. Mm-mm. That is no longer, okay? That's done. If that was the reason why they left or you guys broke up, that's over and done with. Um, they're no longer in that. They feel like they were foolish if they did that to you. They want to work with you guys. They want to give you what you deserve here. The Four of Wands. If you guys wanted to get married, if you are married and separated, um, they want it back. They want to come home. If you guys are separated, they want to come home. If you guys were not married, this person wants to be with you. They want to commit to you. Um, if it was marriage that was an issue here and you wanted to get married, they didn't. I feel like they want to at this point. Okay? They want to. We have Leo, Aries here, um, Aquarius, Capricorn energy okay guys so wow um that was that was strong so that's what i have for you and um i will be speaking with you guys soon bye now